Jackie Elmer here. Thanks so much again for joining me for today's training video and mentoring program where we're gonna specifically talk about how to choose your focus word for 2020. Uh, this is a big part of success. If you watched last week's training, we covered um, routines, systems, and planning for success at any time, but certainly launching into this new year. So I wanted to follow it up today, right before the holidays, getting very close. I picked my daughter up here in about, oh, five hours. I'm getting super excited. Uh, but I thought this was a great time to really talk about choosing that focus word because there's still about a week left in the month, a week left in 2019. And so now's a great time for you to get very intentional. And speaking of intentional, that's kind of what I wanted to start with. So if you're going to choose a focus word, and I really encourage you to, a focus word just quickly is that one word, or it can be a phrase, that you choose that's going to basically drive your planning, your routines, and most about your business processes for the year. And it doesn't have to be just business. This can be in your personal life as well. So, uh, you know, I, I'm all about harmony in life and business. I've gotten rid of the B word, balance, because I don't believe there is such a thing. The key is to figure out how to make it uh, all fit together in harmony so that you can have the success that you want. So this doesn't have to be just focused on business. But I wanna really encourage you to choose your word intentionally which is why I developed the process this year that I'm using to choose my word. And I'll get to that here in just a minute. Now, being intentional with that word is certainly choosing it intentionally. And then a second part of that process is making sure that you don't just choose a word and write it down somewhere and three months into the year think to yourself, what was that word? What was it that I picked for the year? I don't even remember. Choosing intentionally means that you wanna pick something that really is going to set you up for success and it's going to be a word that you can use to measure everything up against in the year in business and in life. So what I wanna encourage you to do is once you've chosen that word, now I've talked to you about the thought download journal. I wanna really encourage you for 2020, if you haven't been doing this, get a small notebook. It can be a big notebook. I like this because it fits in my purse, my briefcase, my backpack. I carry it with me, I throw it in the car. And every morning when I get up, I just do a five minute intentional download where I just free flow and write everything. And I'll, co I'll come back to this. But I want you to make sure that this is written in your day timer, your calendar planner, as well as your thought download journal so that you can refer back to it. And then ideally, first thing in the morning, focus on that word as part of your morning routine, your meditation, daily prayers, whatever it is for you, focus on that word. And then I always like to ask, what do I need to focus on today in my business, in my personal life? What are those things that I need to be concerned with today? And I almost always get an answer and I start with that and that's when I then get into the thought download. All right, so um, you start with that first thing in the morning and then a great way to set yourself up for good accountability is then to look at the end of the day right before you go to bed, get that thought download or your journal out or whatever, get those items out and ask yourself, did I meet the standards, the expectations, and the goals that I have set for that focus word? So that's a great way to keep yourself accountable for being consistent and taking those action steps to move your business forward. So in 2019, my focus word was mastering practice because what I really figured out in my business, there are three basic things that drive my business and that's the, the offer that I make, the programs and products that I sell, that I monetize with. So I need to make sure that I know what those are, that they're ready to go and everything's set. And then of course, the second part of that then is to market, market those products, programs, services, offerings. And then the third part is following up because the reality of it is, you know this as well as I do, most people don't buy the first time they encounter your offer. So following up is a big part of it. So those are the three primary pieces of my business. So everything that I do, I wanted to measure up against that focus word, which was mastering practice. Now, you've heard me talk before about my five favorite F words, my five buckets of, I call them my, my, my buckets, and they're content buckets, they're my priorities, they're my values, they're the, the basic five components that make up my life, and that is faith, family and friends, fun, fitness, 
and finance. And I don't have those in a specific order. That's just the way it flows for me. So everything that I do, I looked at. I looked at those five areas, which make up everything. My faith, which is spiritual, belief in myself, it's all of that. My family and friends, those are relationships, including my business relationships. Fun, I wanna make sure I'm having fun in everything that I do, because if you're not having fun, what's the point? Fitness, that's fitness in terms of wellness, longevity, um, health, as well as fit financially, fit in business, fit with my relationships. There's a lot of different things that I can incorporate into that under the umbrella of fitness. So it's not just health and wellness, but that's a big part of it. And then the fifth one is uh, finance. And that's my business, the, everything that falls under my business and what I'm doing there and the financial side of it. So with those five buckets in mind, everything that I do from my life to my business, to my marketing calendar, to content creation, everything fits into one of those five buckets. So when I looked at that word for 2019, mastering practice, I could say, um, it, you know, am I mastering the practice in each of those areas? And I really simplified it because to be um, strong in my faith, what are those few things that I need to do to master the practice of that on a daily basis? And then I could say in my family and friends and my relationships, what are the few things that I really need to do to master the practice of being successful there? Well, in that area, it's um, being present. It's giving quality time. And quality time means when I'm there, uh, you know, uh, to, to be present, not to be, you know, clicking on my phone or ask a question and then get distracted because that little dean goes off or any of that. If I'm working on my business, I'm fully present and working on that. It's to let go of multitasking, something that I've been terrible at forever. Okay, so I, I go through that, I went through that all year with all my five areas and, and I could measure everything up. And a, a question that I love to ask is, is this moving me closer to my goal or taking me further away from it? And if my goal was to master the practice of that, each of those areas, I could measure everything up against that. And that really helped me become more productive, become more focused and become more consistent. So for this year, I really um, was struggling with what word, different words would come up for me. And so about a little over a month ago, I started really paying attention in my journal and in my daily thought download and I would every day I would I would write down the word before I started doing my th thought download I would write down the word for how I was feeling a word that would describe me how I was feeling for the day whether I woke up frustrated or whether I woke up motivated or whether I woke up determined and I started going back and every single day whatever the word was I filled out a little slip of paper and dropped them into this um, this little bowl and so that was my goal was to intuitively and intentionally allow the universe if you will to help me pick whatever that right word is going to be for the year now interestingly there's more than five words in here but the five words that kept showing up regularly for me were intentional so making sure that everything that i'm doing i've mastered the practice or i'm still working on it but so, so to follow up with that word, being intentional, intentionally setting up my day in all of those five areas that are important to me. So intentional was one of the words. Consistent, because that's one thing that kept showing up too. When I stopped and looked back to back this past year, when I stopped, er, stopped and really took the time to evaluate it and looked back in past years of what really, what it was that drove my success in my business, it was consistency in marketing. And I could easily look back in my calendar for the last two to three years, honestly, and say, wow, I dropped the ball in this area. I took time off of my podcast. I didn't shoot a YouTube video for seven months. I, I did this, I did that, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. And when I stopped and looked at it, consistency was a huge part of it. Consistency and follow-up. Consistency in so many different areas, specifically with my business. So that was the second word. The third one that kept showing up was determined because I have a very intentional business plan that I've set up for, 2020, for 2020 and I'm very determined to stay very focused, very consistent and drive that. So determined was the third word. Uh, the fourth word that kept showing up was accomplished because that was one of my goals. At the end of every day, I wanna feel accomplished that I started the morning with a to-do list, with a priority list, whatever it is. And as I wanted at the end of the day to be able to check the box that I was accomplished. 
obviously real life gets in the way sometimes and you don't get to complete your to-do list or you know something like that but as long as I was intentional every day and had it set up I wanted to check the box at the end of the day that I was accomplished um, and then the fifth one was intuitive because I, I'm a gut person and I, I've learned that when I listen to my gut, it never steers me wrong. It really truly never steers me wrong. So kind of along the lines of being intentional, intuitive was another word that kept showing up. Intuitively, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow a plan for today that fits the goal. So I'm gonna choose a word before we end here and then I'm gonna measure up with that word just like I did last year in my five primary areas. So whichever word it is, every day I'm gonna measure in those five buckets, those five groups of priorities for me in my life and in my business, am I fulfilling what needs to be done for that word? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting whether it's consistency, choosing your focus word and then focusing on it and really allowing it to help drive you through the year so that you can be self accountable, you can self coach yourself and you can get yourself where you want to go. It really comes down to decisions and choices. And it's kind of interesting. I um, was right actually developing part of a, my program, part of Street Smart Wealth Academy. It, I have a section on there on choices and decisions and choices are is our ability. It's the freedom that we have, the opportunity that we have to make a choice and decision is that need to make a choice. And not making a choice is also making a choice. But really, the, the quality of our life and every aspect of it, whether it be business, relationships, marketing, you know, money in the bank, whatever it is, at the end of the day, it comes down to those decisions and choices. And consistency is a big part of it. Um, I'm in a very powerful mastermind group, which I'm so appreciative of. Isabel is um, one of my partners and Lee Woodward is the other one. And we meet every single Monday morning. We meet for an hour on a Zoom call and we share our goals. We share what we accomplished the last week. We set our goals for the next week. And it makes me really show up accountable because it's kind of like having a gym partner. I don't want to show up and say, oh, I didn't do anything or I ate bad all week or whatever. I want to show up and be able to show what I did and have some accomplishment and that type thing. And Lee had shared something with us a couple weeks ago and it really struck me. And this was the phrase that she shared, which was discipline is the path to freedom. Discipline is the path to freedom. And when you think about it, freedom ultimately is the goal for most of us whatever we're working toward. We want the freedom of choice, we want the freedom of time, we want the freedom of finance, we want the freedom with relationships. Freedom is a big goal for most of us. And when you really do stop and think about it, it's the discipline in the decisions and the choices that we make every day that take us along that path to ultimately reach freedom. So that's kind of what I is, is on my mind. That's how I'm going about choosing my focus word. So I hope that you will get intentional and choose your focus word. So I'm going to reach in now to the big bucket and see what I come up with. And then let me know if you use something like this yourself and what you come up with. Now it's going to be interesting to see if I get one of my five or if I get one of the other ones that showed up, but I, I, I know I'm on the right path. <gasps> Accomplished. So I did get one of my five. Now I'm gonna be honest, this was my third choice. And it's funny because, oh, this is, not, this is not the one. No, it must have been my fourth choice. So intentional was my first choice. Consistent was my second. Determined was my third. And accomplished was my fourth. And then intuitive was my fifth. So interestingly, I got my fourth choice in the word. But I'm gonna stick with this because I know, again, it's easy for me to measure that at the end of the day. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't still be intentional about being accomplished and intentional about my activities. I'm certainly going to have to be consistent if I'm going to check the box at the end of every day that says I'm accomplished today in what my goals were. I'm gonna to have to be determined as well and I can still use intuition to drive that. So accomplished is my focus word for 2020. I would love any feedback or comments that you have. Um, I'll be back next week. Next week, we are gonna do a decade and a year in review. This is a great time to go back through, not just 2019, but the entire decade. And boy, 
what a decade it was for me. I don't know about you. I'm ready to kick 2019 to the curb for sure. I'm ready to kick this decade to the curb for a number of reasons. Um, it, it, you know, life is 50-50. I've said that before. It really is 50-50. Our goal is not happiness. Our goal is joy because on any given day, we're going to have those things that don't make us happy. You know, you get stuck in traffic, your flight cancels, um, you know, a team member quits, whatever it is, we have those things in life that don't make us happy. A death of a loved one, there are things that happen that prevent us from being happy 100% of the time. But when we seek joy and we know that this too shall pass and a lot of different things like that, it's powerful. So I don't want to write, I don't want to write 2019 off either because it's literally been the biggest learning year of my entire life. And the decade has been the biggest learning decade of my entire life too. So I'm grateful for it and I'm ready to uh, get intentional. So next week after Christmas, I always sit down the week between Christmas and New Year's Eve, usually about the 29th and 30th, I go through my journal, I go through my, uh, my thought download book, I go through um, my day timer and I look back and I go through month by month. And it's really fun to do this too because you can remember trips that you took, people that you saw, lunches that you had and you think, wow, Wow, was that really nine months ago? Only this time I'm going to be looking back over a whole decade. And I hope you will too. I hope you'll jo join me back here next week to go through that. And I would love any of your comments. So if you want to leave a comment below, have any questions, whatever, I will definitely get those answered. Thank you so much for being here. Here's to an amazing decade coming up for us of 2020, an amazing year. And please let me know what your focus word is. Have an amazing day.